All right, I got to make a replacement rod carrying tube for my fishing pole. The other one just got in such bad shape and kind of nasty and started to smell like fish after all the years. Um, so what we're going to start with is I got a piece of four-inch drain pipe or sewer pipe, and I cut it seven seven and a half feet long to accommodate up to a seven and a half foot rod. And my rods are not that long; they're like six and a half and seven. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'll take the cap and put it on there and give me an idea about where I want my hole drilled for my retainer rope. And of course, you know, I like to have it right in the center. Or you can have it right in the center if you want it, or you can put it on the side. You know, I like to do them both the same. And around here, around this end. Pretty simple, pretty easy, and fairly cheap. I think the large piece of pipe was about $11. The end caps were about $2.40 a piece. If you don't want to pay for these, you can always cut a piece of this off and then do a piece over the end, and that's a whole busy deal. If you just like projects, that's fine. But, uh, this is the way I make mine. several years ago and uh, it's done well for me so I'm just going to do it the same way again. Normally what I would do is uh, on this, I'm using paracord this time because my original stuff wasn't paracord. I don't even know if you could get it back then. If you get, could, I didn't know about it. I melt the tips of it just a little bit and just kind of And just keep it from fraying. I've already melted all of them. But, uh, take something and I'll knock off those little burrs in there so you, your cord goes through smoothly. Didn't go through smoothly. There we go. I just usually take it and spin it a couple times to make a simple knot and it'll, it'll do the job. Like that. And then, uh, so get this one cleaned out. Step it in here a little bit. Like I said, I didn't use this fancy stuff the first time I uh, built my other one. So I don't have much experience with paracord. Everybody says use paracord. So we're using paracord on this trip. There you go. There's your cap. Um, you can take up some slack to where there's just not much like that. Um, I can always tie things to that, so let's flip it around. Oh, you know what? I usually put my cushioning in right about now. Take a couple of koozies and an old bag. These bags double for lots of things, usually wheel covers or that's cushioning for your into your pole. Just 
repeat again. Let's see. I'm make sure I got that paracord melted good so I don't have that frayed piece sticking out giving me a hassle. And you can, like I said, you can shorten these up. Um, so whatever length you want, if you cut them a little bit long, the first go around, if you make a mistake, you can always trim some more off. Instead of be standing there with two pieces that are too short, thinking, well, what do I do with that now? If I had a nail close by, I would just use that and poke it on through. If you want to, when you get done tying your knot, you can just burn that all the way up to the edge of the knot. other end. And you can glue one in if you want, but I have never had a problem. This thing lays in the back of the boat and rides all the way to the water. Of course, the, the other boat's a higher sided boat, but um, this boat here is a much smaller boat, so I would I would bungee cord it down. And you can just, uh, when you get it down like that, you can put in, if you're not putting any reels in, you could probably put up to six uh, six poles in here. See? There's, there's three poles right there. And I used to carry three poles and one spare reel and always some koozies because you never know when you might want to put a koozie on a water bottle. And then, uh, that fit in there just right. So I could put that in there that way and put one of these in here. And just check the feet in there. Just like that. And there's your fishing pole transport case. You could probably get that on an airplane, I don't guess. I'm taking mine on. Now, if you want to carry in straps, you can always do the same thing with the paracord and drill a hole here and one here, but I don't want to lug that on my back. So, um, and again, if you want to, you could probably get um, a couple more reels in there. This one's a Shimano CU200. Um, Spinning reels, I'm sure you break them down just right. They'll fit in there. But this one works real good that way. You don't have to take the handle off or anything. Like that.
Pull the fold out. Put your reel on there. Go be on the artificial and go to town. Yeah. Go to the bank, the bank or the jetties. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me. I'll do the best I can to answer them.